Welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today we are performing the acid test and I'm here with Javion. He's got some tap water. We added some Brahmathmal blue and we can see that the tap water right now looks like it's about a pH of eight. It's slightly alkaline. We want to find out what happens when Javion blows carbon dioxide from his lungs into the test tube. Go for it, Javion. We want to see if there's a color change. So I'm here with Eric and he is adding CO2 from his lungs to the water to make carbonic acid. And it has changed from a blue definitely to a green. It looks like it's starting to get closer to a yellow as that CO2 makes carbonic acid in the water. Good job, keep going. So in addition to finding out what carbon dioxide does in tap water as it creates carbonic acid, we wanna find out what does carbon dioxide do to lime water? Check it out. Way to go, Francisco. We're just gonna let that mix for a while. Let me turn it up a little bit. And there we go. Okay. And Francisco, you are just mixing this calcium hydroxide until um, it turns into lime water here. Okay, and then we'll change the pH later. So the next step is Francisco is gonna take our calcium hydroxide in this uh, solution and he's gonna start to filter it. And this takes some time, but you want it to be filtered into clear lime water. Just gonna pour that in there, keep going. Okay, so I'm here with William and what we have filtered is lime water. You can see how clear it is. William is gonna blow CO2 from his lungs into the lime water. We wanna see it change from the calcium hydroxide to calcium carbonate. Okay, William. Go ahead and blow into the lime water. Just move your hand a little bit because I want to see it change while you blow. Go ahead. And this will this will actually create the precipitate of calcium uh, carbonate, which we use to make sheetrock. We used it to make chalk, and it's already turning really cloudy. Keep going. You're doing great, William. Wow, you can't even see through it now. That's pretty fast. What do you think, William, one minute? Okay, let's hold this up. Can I hold this up for everybody? Okay, check it out, people. Look how much it's changed. This is where the calcium hydroxide that was saturated in the solution changes to calcium carbonate as you add CO2 from your lungs. Way to go, William. Okay, so I'm here with uh, Sequoia, and she's got some lime water that she's going to add carbon dioxide from her lungs to the lime water, and we want to see if it changes into calcium carbonate, if it changes color. All right, Sequoia, I'm ready when you are. <laughs> I know, you're <laughs> hyperventilating. It's starting, to, it's starting to get cloudy. It should get so white that you can't see through it. There, it's starting to change now. Good job, keep going. Good job, Sequoia. Oh, yep, it's getting really cloudy now. That is awesome. Okay, let's hold it up, Sequoia. Good job. <laughs> Sequoia is hyperventilated. Look how cloudy that is. That's when the lime water changes into calcium carbonate, which is a precipitate that if we just let it sit for a while, it'll start to settle at the bottom. And that's what we use to make sheetrock and chalk. Way to go, Sequoia. 